Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, coax cable. Uh, you know, so the finished product is going to have one of these guys on the end of a normal uh, piece of coax cable or RG6. You can see this is kind of what it looks like from a store. Uh, but if you're having to run your own cable at all, you're going to need to be able to create one of these yourself. So you, you can basically, a uh, couple of tools you'll need is uh, some type of wire cutters. Uh, you can use scissors. This is a uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, you can see here, just kind of insert this uh, guy into the needle nose pliers. Uh, push down. And uh, that that's just that simple to uh, co cut the coax cable. Uh, but then you can see uh, there's kind of this plastic sheathing and then there's some uh, magnetic shielding and what you can do is go ahead and buy a tool like this I got this one at uh, I think Home Depot it was a little under 10 bucks and you can see this is a a coax cable uh, cutter or prepare so what you do is you're gonna stick the coax cable through this little hole and it's got a series of blades uh, that cut the cable uh, exactly how you'll need to install this screw-on uh, connector. So uh, you can see here uh, you're going to want to insert the cable in this direction. So it's just as simple. Uh, if you're doing any number of cuts on a coax cable you're going to want to pick up one of these tools. But you just turn this thing around uh, four or five times and uh, just pull it and you can see it gave me a perfect cut. Now I like to leave the wire a little bit longer and then trim it at the very end. Uh, so you can see it, it cut off the white part and there's a little bit of this uh, I guess kinda wire left over so you just peel that back. Then what you're gonna wanna do is buy a pack of twist-on uh, F-type connectors. This is for RG6 you can see here. Uh, this was a 10 pack and I think it was a little under five dollars. So all you literally do is take this little twist on here and you're gonna come on your coax cable wire and then literally uh, just like the name implies you're going to twist it on. So you can see I've done that here. Uh, then you come make sure it's centered nice and you're gonna come and just cut this the coax cable wire uh, just a little bit past the end uh, and there you have it it's just that simple with the right tool so you're going to need to pick up one of these uh, you can do this yourself with a razor blade but this is easier it's uh, anywhere between five and ten bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, wire cutters or a pair of scissors are kind of optional and then you're going to need these uh, twist on connectors uh, you can buy a 10 pack for less than five bucks and you're good to go. You can make up as many coax cables as you want from now on uh, with the proper tools. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more money saving tips. Thank you.